hey guys welcome to the vlog it is monday it is solar eclipse day it is april 8th it is also tegan day so if you don't know um on april 8th i miscarried it has tegan um i usually have this hanging up so it is old, but it has Tegan. It's for eight fifteen. So anyway, um, but we had an issue over here. Uh, so I'm gonna have to take care of this. Ugh. Oh, ah, oh, it ooed on me. I saw where people take this and like, um, just let it dry, and then use it as dehydrated starter. But I am not. Going to clean all this up after school. So we're gonna do school. So this is what it looks like outside. I'll show you in a minute. So this is what it's looking like outside. Um, totality was supposed to be, I think, 10 or 15 minutes ago, but as you can see, we got a lot of shadow here. It just looks just looks a little weird out here but it's girls a ghost cat. huh a ghost cat girls were drawing we're gonna do school right now it looks like a butt ew anyway so yeah it just looks really weird outside uh, but because of the eclipse and such we're not like i mean it's an eclipse <laughs> i'm not like woo. Once in a lifetime, I'm like, I thought, you know, a long time ago, once in a lifetime. Anyway, so yeah, we're not big eclipse watchers or anything. We don't have any glasses. Um, I'm trying to get you on this tripod. Okay. So anyway, yeah, we're not. And if you are, that's totally great. If you want to go see it. Or go somewhere where you could have the total experience where, you know, then that is great. Alyssa sent me a link, and so that's when I knew um, what time, you know, what time it would start in our area. And like, the, it was supposed to be 309, I think, according to this app, as to where I'm at the time of totality that would be here get your books start your school so we're gonna do school and then I have a headache I haven't had a headache in a long time but it's not it's not a horrible headache it, you know what it feels like it feels like when a storm is coming and it like you know when you get those pressure headaches and that's what I totally feel like it's like a pressure Storm is a brewing. So anyway, it's probably probably had does have something to do with the eclipse. But I'm gonna drink a spicy water. So if you're new to my channel and do not know, um, my husband makes these drinks for us, and I've been drinking them um, almost uh, for a while. I was drinking them every single day. He makes would make them every single day, and then he was like, I don't think we need to drink them every day. Although I crave them now. Um, and this is water, obviously. Um, he puts pink Himalayan salt. He puts lemon juice, cayenne pepper, ginger, and turmeric. So that is what he puts in here. Um, I have a video, I'll try to find it, where he like showed, and lemon juice, did I say that? Of what he puts in him. But we call it our spicy water. So, initial, the first drink, I taste a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of lemon, and some, a little bit of heat. And it doesn't give us heartburn or anything like that. And I honestly think, because I used to suffer from a lot of headaches, and I would usually get them around that time of the month too, and so since 
so here we are in April and I can probably count I probably had less than I would say three headaches when I used to get them probably at least two to three times a month um, I know I'd always get one before my period would start but then I would get them like what is it Winnie what is it it's gotten darker again it's another eclipse anyway I'm not saying that yeah is this the cure I know that uh, what is it the Himalayan salt is good for you for headaches the cayenne pepper so I see if this helps me I wouldn't even really call what I have a headache headache but I'd call it a head annoyance what are you eating oh I got a head annoyance right now. It's just annoying my head. Can you make me one with just lemon and salt like Dad does? <laughs> it's there with my napkin. <laughs> All right, class. Oh, not right. So what is today? Guess what today is? Well, let's see. This was. You want me to cross it off? Mm -hmm. You want to do it? Okay. That was when you had your Easter egg hunt at church. And this is when it was Easter. And then oh, we're in a new month. Guess what? What does this mean? What do you think it means? We're going to miss each other? Yeah, but first we gotta get through this month. But first, let's look. Let's look. So, in April, flowers come out. Wait, Hold on. wait, wait, wait. What does this mean? That means so, my... this right here was last week, mm -hmm. and we didn't do school, did we? Wait, Mom, what does this mean? Whose birthday is that? That was Aunt Danny's birthday. So it was yesterday. Me. Zumba is over. I don't know if Sterling got any clips of me. Probably not. She's usually on her phone. Um, anyway, we just ended up going to Zaxby's for dinner um, because I wasn't, I'm just, I'm still not, that reminds me I gotta go take my iron pill. I'm still not feeling great. Um, by great, I mean like, um, if you've ever been anemic or, you know, well, anemic basically um, you will know like it's like it's a moment by moment thing <laughs> I mean you know you can feel good you know at at one point and just be like oh you know I'm pretty good and then the next moment you're like man I'm so tired like I could just go to sleep and then you know um, I had a headache today and so, but I might have mentioned it's, it wasn't like a terror, like, I would call it a mild headache. I wouldn't call it like, like the headaches that I would get before where it's like, oh my gosh, I just need to go to bed or something. Or, um, so I need to go run upstairs and take my iron. So I'm going to do that. 
and come back down and work. But Michelle from Chickens by the Lake just posted this roasting video right here. Um, so I'm gonna watch that. <laughs> I'm like excited because I want to see what she says about <laughs> this guy. Um, I stumbled. This was probably. Gosh, it's probably a month ago that I stumbled upon one of his videos, but it was like, I don't know, he was reacting to a bunch of different um, videos. Anyway, needless to say, I clicked on it, I started watching it, and it just made me angry, so I just turned it off, because I'm like, I'm not going to give him my views you know what i mean i'm not going to give him my ta time watching his videos um because he was making fun of my friend and i don't like that so um yeah but now i'm gonna make watch her make fun of him. <laughs> that's okay that's okay because we because we like michelle we don't know who this other character who that guy is um yeah but anyway, I'm going to watch this, and I've got a few torn butter out, and then I'm going to um, take a shower and go to bed. Um, did I, I think I did already mention about, um, it's Tegan Dale. Tegan Dale. So we do, we did, we named, we named our miscarried children. So we feel like, you know, life begins at conception. And so, although many people don't believe that, you believe what you want to believe, I'll believe what I want to believe. And so, um, it just felt right to name them. And so, um, this baby, this, and I, I, will, I will tell you, like, when I miscarried, we buried, we buried the, the, it was like about the size of a grape. Um, there was eyes, there was a head, you can see arms, fingers, toes, feet, um, you know, there was, it was all there. Um, and we decided I got, um, a washcloth. I went and I bought, like, one of those, I wanted it to be small, so we bought like the ones from the Dollar Tree, like the little washcloths that they have, so it was like small and soft and not that, you know, but, um, and I just wrapped the baby in that. I mean, again, it was probably the size of a grape, um, but there was, you could see like eye, like, it was an actual eye. If you look up, um, like what a 10 week old baby would look like like that um i believe it was like eight weeks and so many days is when the heart the heart stopped beating i don't remember now it's like foggy in my brain because it was in 2015 so but yeah i miscarried at 10 weeks but it was like anyway I'm just talking about it because it's on my mind. Um, yeah, and so, and then we miscarried another baby in 2016, um, September 25th in 2016. And so, um, yeah, so Tegan was 2015, our miscarried baby in 2016, September 25th, and then we had Journey in 2017 and it's kind of crazy that um like this this when we had got pregnant with tegan um it was it wasn't planned it was just we weren't going to have any more children we just never i guess we never really discussed like how many children we were going to have it was just as time went on it was like, yeah, we're not going to have any more kids. You know, we were older. We were, um, you know, I was 42 when I miscarried Tegan. And so I was like, okay. But then after that, it was like, we were talking, like, 
do we want another kid? Do we? And I was like, you know, I, I do. I do. I want another kid. And he was like, yeah, you know. And so we decided after that we would just try and see what happens. And so we tried. And then I thought, well, you know, with, Jer with Sterling, I had to get on Clomid. So I had, you know, infertility problems. And so I went on Clomid. Um with Sterling and <clears throat> that's how we got her so I went to the doctor and they pretty much well I won't say they laughed at me but they were like almost like disgusted with me that at the age of 42 I wanted to have a baby they were like you're gonna have to go see a fertility doctor and you know I can't do anything for you um so anyway, we got the referral to the fertility doctor and they did run all the tests and told us that we were both, you know, perfect. They told me that my egg, because they do an egg quality test on you in HC, HGH, what's it called? HCG? No, that's the hormone. Um... I don't remember. It's like three letters. Um, it's where they they um, take a blood sample and they run to see how uh, fertile, how many eggs you have left, so on and so forth. Um, if you would have come to me back then, I could have told you everything because it was, you know, but, you know, now it's been quite some time and now it's like foggy in my brain. Um, but then you go in and they run a, a dye test. So they put dye in your uterus to make sure there's no blockage in your fallopian tubes. And I have pictures of my fallopian tubes. And you guys, if you think like the diagrams that you see, uh, like uteruses and fallopian tubes, if you think that it looks like that, it does not. Your fallopian tubes are not like little just like a tube with a thing no these things like run and squiggle and they're like long they're like I don't know I wonder it'd probably be hard for me to find the pictures but if I can I'll try to insert them so you guys can see what my fallopian tubes look like that's funny um but yes yeah. so anyway um yeah so we had like the tests I just had it at the tip of my tongue um Anyway, we had all the tests done. My husband had the tests done. He was great um, as far as his count and all that. Everything was really good on his end. They said they didn't, you know, they said my egg quality at age 42 it was one that, you know, that people in their late 30s like people in what did he say he would expect for like a 36 to a 38 year old like theirs to look like what mine looked like at the age of 42 made me feel really good because i was like yes i got good eggs <laughs> but no um yeah so all that looked really good so he put us on famara and so we started that in like may and then um was on that a few cycles and then got pregnant in august and then miscarried that uh, but it's almost like I knew it's like it's hard to describe but when I got pregnant it almost felt like I really wasn't pregnant and then like I don't know I just had an uneasy feeling like I knew like it wasn't going to so then when we went in for our first ultrasound and there was no fetal bowl so it was just a sack just a sack and um, there was a little something in it and um, so and I should have been six weeks at that point so there should have been a heartbeat and all that and there wasn't and so um, yeah and that was like on September 12th and then I ended up miscarrying uh, I think I went back in a week and I checked again maybe I don't remember but you guys it's been so long needless to say um, then after that 
So we lost that baby and then we kept trying and then in February I did get pregnant and we got Journey. And the when I got pregnant with Journey, it's like I knew. I knew. I was like I just told my husband like it was almost like there was a sense of urgency to you know to get everything. Like I like you know, really bad nesting, really, you know, I need to, this is going to happen. Like, uh, uh, other than that, like having that sense of urgency to prepare because we're going to have a baby. Um, I just, I just knew, I just knew. So anyway, here I am rambling and I need to watch this video and Did I mention I was wearing Firehouse today? I'm wearing Firehouse because, if you don't know, the lead singer of Firehouse passed away Friday. Um, he had uh, colon cancer, and apparently he passed away. He went into cardiac arrest. Um, he had some surgeries, and apparently was doing good, but, you know, went into cardiac arrest on Friday. And passed away. Anyway, and... So it just, it drives me bananas. Drives me absolutely bananas. So I just posted, I posted on TikTok, like, some of the video footage that I had from when we saw them last. You know, just as a little remembrance, right? And then, like, I put, I didn't put, like, the first, the video I got the comment on. But I didn't put anything, I just posted the video and then put a hashtag um rest in peace cj snare and then like hashtag cj snare and then hashtag cancer sucks because he had colon cancer and then somebody's like he died of cardiac arrest well yeah he did but he also had cancer and cancer sucks, so there. <laughs> Pucker up and kiss it. Whoville. Anyway, um but I was I was going to talk because I was I got a notification. Okay, anyway, um I got a notification. That's not what I wanted to say. Oh, what I wanted to say is I was thumbing on packaging orders and I was thumbing through Instagram and um, I found a certain, you know, these people and this person was, I don't know where they were, but they posted a picture and you know that it's, it's a popular, she's popular, so she has a large following, but it's like posted her um, her backside in like <laughs> first of all first of all this is like not like the first time they post something like this they post like this all the time and it, in fact it was probably last week maybe um, they posted a picture and it was her and her husband or whatever and it was showing she was in a bikini showing a lot of her backside and I'm like you know they're just fishing you know that's what it is is fishing compliments or comments or whatever yeah <laughs> burn myself not that there's anything wrong <laughs> with that but one of the comments was this picture smells like farts. And when I read that, I died laughing. I just died laughing. And it was like, me and my husband were laying in bed and I could not stop laughing. I was laughing so hard. It was like, what is it? I'm like, this picture smells like farts. So, now, anytime we see anything, you know, <laughs> we'll say this picture, that smells like farts. Ew. <laughs> But anyway, 
where I was going with this is that I just saw this post and it was this girl again in her backside she's in a bikini um, but like her whole butt cheek like her bikini don't cover anything and her whole butt cheeks are hanging out and today Sterling and I okay so this, 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 this is the way <laughs> my mind works I'm crazy uh, just just deal with it I'm crazy okay uh, <laughs> Sterling and I were in the Zaxby's drive through line after Zumba and um, she had her feet she had her feet out of her shoes and had them up on the dashboard and normally well if we're driving in a car like I am like against anybody anybody putting their feet on the dashboard because um, if you don't know there's airbags and you know if you got into an accident your foot could go flying through you know into your head or whatever anyway we were in the drive through line she put her feet up on the dash and I was like get your feet off the dash I said uh, put your your private parts away and she was like private parts I said yeah I said if you think about it feet feet are a private part and she was like people wear sandals I said yes but you know honestly you people you know a majority of the time have their feet covered up with socks and shoes so that's like private you know um those are private parts <laughs> she was like I think feet are ugly. <laughs> I'm just going to say. The only thing, the only time feet are ever cute is when it's on a baby. Baby feet are cute. Other than that, once you get, I don't know, to be about two years old, they start getting ugly. Three and on up, they get ugly. Um, anyway, so I was like, yeah, I was like, the um, feet are, you know, Feet is private parts. You, I mean, a majority of the time, you don't see people's feet. Unless it's summer and they're wearing flip-flops. And then they should, you know, so I've seen some ugly feet, you know, standing in checkout lines or whatever at Walmart. And I'm like, y'all need to cover some of them things because they ugly. <laughs> they just so ugly. Um, but, so we are talking. And I was like, you don't, you know... I said same thing with like people with their butt cheeks hanging out of their bikinis. I was like, butt cheeks are private parts. You don't need to show that. I was like, um, you know, you're pretty much looking at the only thing you're covering up is the crack. I mean, <laughs> I'm like, it's not private if you just, you know. Just covering the crack doesn't make it okay. I was like, what if it was the other way around? And I was like, and what if people, instead of showing their butt cheeks, right, they showed the crack. I was like, it'd be like cleavage, you know what I mean? People showing the crack, you know, it'd be like that. And she was like, oh, then you see their butthole. I was like, honey. I was like, your crack is here. I was like, and your booty hole is down here. Y'all, this is the way we talk. <laughs> and so, she was like, well, you know, some of us might not have enough cheek to cover up our booty holes. And I said, oh, baby. <laughs> She's like, no, mom, I'm just saying in general. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. So, I just thought, <laughs> I also think I'm a bit delirious and tired, and this is the last shirt I'm doing, and I am going to head to bed. So, this is the shirt I just made. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, what if, what if, instead of people showing their butt cheeks in their bikinis or bathing suits or whatever, they just started... Cutting out a little hole, you know, it don't have to be that, you know, just a little hole, just show a little bit of the crack. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> 
Oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah, I need to go to bed. Anyway, I finished three. Um, it is 11 o'clock. It's time for bed. I would have finished another one, but I didn't have the shirt. Uh, so I'm like, well, I'll place my order. I'm going to go upstairs and get my cart ready. That's another thing. I am also going to thumb through some cookbooks. I meant to bring them down with me. But I was actually talking to Michelle um, from Chickens by the Lake. So, yeah. <laughs> and it's funny that uh, back about two, three, how many weeks ago was Kelsey Carter? Well, two. So, two weeks ago. Was it probably the Monday? I I had posted I uh, I had talked about how I had a dream that I was messaging Michelle from Chickens by the Lake via like we were talking. It was like we weren't texting each other. We were like holding down the button, and you know how you talk to someone, and then you send that to them. We were doing that back and forth, and it wasn't like weird or anything. It was like we knew each other, and we were. Like, right. Anyway, my camera cut off. Um, but yeah, so I had a dream, and so I was just talking about it in a video, and then it was like when I was editing that video, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like my dream come true because we've been talking. Um, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping like I can get back to a normal, my normal routine because this iron thing, you guys, no joke. Like it just throws you off. Like it's like you're tired. You don't want to do anything. And I'm used to doing stuff. I'm used to, you know, Planning big meals, cooking big meals, homeschooling, chickens, cleaning, embroidering, you know, all the things. And, yeah, and I just feel like, I mean, I've still been doing a majority of the things, but by the end of the day, I am pooped out. And that vacuum needs to be emptied, by golly, it is full. Uh, anyway, I need to turn this off and print off my shipping labels and go to bed. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye, guys.